Good morning everybody. Hope you're all well. It's lovely here today. We've got it's a bit windy but it's nice and sunny and it just makes you feel a bit happier, doesn't it? it? Makes you feel that I don't know, spring is finally in the air, hopefully. I'm on today because I'm gonna do a VR to Toadstool Tarot, which is um your favourite cards for the minor arcana. So um, I've picked a few decks, I found this really hard because I can't make up my mind. So I've been swapping and changing and for some I've cheated because I've got two cards because I just couldn't pick. So um, please bear with me. So here we go. My first card of course is the Fool and this one is from the Sassaburito deck. And I, I just love this one. I think he's saying to me you know don't worry what age you are you can still do exactly what you want you know because sometimes we think oh you know you've got to act our age yeah mm, not all the time we can go out we can run about i don't know naked if we want with flowers around us if that's if that's what float your boat but i just love him i just think he's amazing you know to, to me he just he encompasses the fool, I think. He's not worried about anything, you know? He's not worried about what people think, whether he'll catch a cold, whether he'll swallow a flower. He, he's just going for it. So he's, he's my absolute favorite fool. And he's from the Sasa Burrito deck. And the next one is um, The Magician. And my one is from Waking the Wild Spirits by Poppy Palin because I just think he's fantastic. He's got all he needs to go to go forward to do what he's got to do. He already encompasses everything he needs. He's got the fire, he's got the air, he's got he's just got everything. You know, he's doing a, a merry jig as he's maybe he's casting his spells doing his, his inner work but he is my absolute favourite of the magician next one also from Wake in the World Spirit by Poppy Palin is the um, High Priestess and I just think she's beautiful she's beautiful she's got that known look in her eye she knows what she's about She's learned lots on her journeys and she encompasses everything into her. I just think she's absolutely beautiful. So there she is, the dream weaver. And next we've got the Empress and this is from my vision quest deck. And I just, that's just beautiful, isn't it? She's got everything. You know, she's wise. She holds the peace in her hands. The dove of peace. She's got the, it looks like. Yeah, to me that looks, I mean, you've got the little robin's eggs. Now, to me, I think they're robins, the little blue ones. I always say they're robin's eggs. You know, to me, that's um, spirit, robin, robin birds. You know, when you see a little a little robin or a robin pays you a visit. She's got the, the eyes, the peacock eyes, the water, the shells. Plants from the earth, feathers from the sky. I just think she's absolutely beautiful. So that is the Empress. And I also picked this one. Um, what did I say this one was from the Crystal Vision? No, it's not, not at all. This one is from the Chrysalis Tarot, so sorry. That's the Chrysalis Tarot. Not even thinking about what I'm doing. This one is from the Vision Quest. And that also is um, the Empress. And I love that one as well, the grandmother with her 
her grandchild, holding him, loving him, but teaching him the ways of the world. I love that. My dog's gone on nutty, they're barking and there's nothing here. Don't know what the hell's the matter with them. And then we've got the Emperor. And to me, he just says it all, you know. He can tell you what you need to know, he can teach you, he can, he's friendly, he'll welcome you in. And he's got the spirits of the, of the ancestors. Sorry about that, my dog's have gone on a crazy. You can see all the cave paintings and everything behind him. Aggie Shush! And my next one is the Hierophant. And this also is from the Chrysalis Tarot. She's set the little one off now. Isn't that beautiful? The knowledge from what we learn from when we're born carries us through the life, through our life and into the next life. And then we take that with us as well. You know, teaching, teaching the young. They've got paints and things and they're teaching, teaching each other. Love that. This one is from Putty Palin and it is The Lovers. And this one's called Blessed Union. And I think it's gorgeous, you know, soulmates. It doesn't have to be about marriage or, you know, love or, you know, well, love, yeah, but I don't mean, I mean, not sexual love or anything like that, you know, just soulmates. Love that one. My next one is from Tarot, The Hidden Realms. That's also the lover's card. But that was one, two that I couldn't pick. You know, to me, that's like, you know, diversity of love. It, it doesn't come into it, does it? If you love somebody, you love them unconditionally. Unconditional love and acceptance. So I love that one. And then I've got this from the Rackham Tarot. This is my favourite chariot out of all the decks and you've got the little mole with the horse they're chatting away and he's telling them where he wants to go what he needs to do you know what direction do you think I should go in or oh, this is the re direction I'm going I need your help though you know and we're going I've got all that we need and we're in control. So I, that's just beautiful, I love that. And then I have got um, From the Dark Mansion, my strength, the strength card. You know, she's really sassy, isn't she? You know, you've got this. You know, I'm strong, I'm, I know what I'm doing. You know, you're by my side, we're just, we're companions. She may look fierce, but you're not. So I love that one. And this also is Tarot of the Hidden Realms. And that's the strength. To me, that's, you know, that's understanding. That's gaining your strength from another person or giving strength to another person from yourself. But I think that's beautiful. I love wolves. And Dark Mansion, and we are at the Hermit. Now, he's just, you know, he's there, he's taken everything in, he's, he's taken a break. You know, he's just looking around, he's got all his books to do his, his studies or his learning, but to me, he doesn't look, he's wise. He knows when it's time to take a break. You know, time to take that that little bit of peace. He's got his lamp to show the way. He's also got the moon. So he's just taking a, you know, he's having a time out for himself because he looks, you know, he needs it. And then we are at the chrysalis again, and this is the wheel of fortune. I just think that's really beautiful. Really, really gorgeous card. Sorry, my things. I don't know what's the matter with this. Can you see that? 
Yeah, so that's the wheel. I think I've lost a card. No, I haven't. I love that one. Justice. Stand up and face the consequences. What, you know? Admitting to things is one of the, the best ways to free your mind. You know, the only one who can free you from your mind is you. So. Now, half the time, it's never as bad as you think anyway. So, yeah, that is beautiful. And next, I have the Chrysalis Tarot, and this is the Hanged Man, and that is one of my favourites ever. All the links, all the knotted wool. You know, you've got to look at untying it in a, in a different way. If you want to get that untied, you've got to think of all the ways that you can do it. Love it. And next I have, where am I? And, yeah, and then we have death or rebirth. This is Poppy Palin waiting in the world spirit. The magic things, you know, when something goes, something else comes. You know, the magic is in in the life. There's loads of doors there, what you can choose, but when one door opens, another door closes. Or vice versa, when one door closes, another door opens. And I think that's what it's about, you know. You may see a twig of a, of a tree was was died and then if you look further up you'll see a branch with new buds so i love that one tarot in the hidden realms again and we are on temperance and i just i don't know it's just it's temperance in itself isn't it you know it's balance it's taking your time you don't have to rush all the time. And she's got the dragonflies there, the spirit elements. And, you know, you don't have to rush. Take your time. Think about what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. And the next one is the devil. And this, to me, just sums him up. And this is from the vision quest. You know... You get tethered to that, to that root of self-destruction, and then you, you have to pay the consequence. But you can see that the, the sun is coming up. You know. So just deal with it, and um, you know, untie them, get them binds untied, change it yourself. And this is the tower. From the Rackham Tower. And I love that because he's leaving behind what's broken, you know. He's leaving behind what he, you know, what's been destroyed. There's no point. Go on and rebuild. Mm. Move away. You know, troubled times don't always, you know, they don't last forever. And again. It's Tarot of the Hidden Realms, and this is the star. To me, the star card reminds me of Pinocchio and the song, When You Wish Upon a Star. You know, what Jiminy Cricket sings, and he wishes that he can be a real boy. Stars, to me, are, are you know, the lights, their wishes, sky wishes. Chrysalis Tarot, the moon. No way when the moon can, you know, the moon's lit it up so that it can be seen. You know, the man's waving on the island. He's not on his own because there's thousands of people underneath the same moon. So he's never alone. With the help of the moon, he can find direction. And 
this one is the sun and this one's from the Rackham Tarot your dandelion wishes is burning for the child I think most of us have ever had that done to us or we do it for the children and we said oh look their wishes my son's got a because his um, his grandma used to say they were whispers when you blew them they were whispers and could you hear them and he's got a tattoo on his arm of all the all the little the sort of gone dandelion bud and all the little wishes and whispers what are flying away he's got that tattooed on his arm I love that so the sun I also love this one because we always think of the sun as a you know as a, a happy card of good times and things like that but it's like everything don't take it to excess because if you have too much sun you get burnt you get sunburn unless you take protection you know unless you put protection on your skin you protect your skin so although there's, there's happiness all the time or we associate happiness all the time with the sun you know it can cause that little bit of misery so don't you know it's, to me it's saying enjoy it you know enjoy it be happy love it but don't do it to excess like everything you know take care and then we've got judgment and this is one of my favorite as it, i think a lot of you know if you followed me before or you you're one of my subs who's regular you'll know that the phoenix has got such such like importance to me you know judgment being reborn you know the only person who can judge you fully is yourself you know sometimes we we judge ourselves too harshly you know, we've made mistakes, but that you, you know, you can learn from your mistakes and you can move forward and you can redo things. And I've got the Phoenix, I don't know if you can see, it's tattooed on my arm. And I got in there for my first year of sobriety because it was like coming from the ashes, from the, from the fire, being reborn. So the fire, the Phoenix to me is, is really special. And you know, coming through that, you judge yourself really, really harshly anyway. And, you know, a lot of the time you're doing damage because you still keep judging yourself, you know, instead of that one part and then move along, you know, leave that behind, you know. Don't keep being so hard on yourself. You've made mistakes, everybody has. But move on, you know, move on from that. Rise like the phoenix. And then we have this one which also is our judgment and if you look at them that, that is oh it's okay I thought I had too many cards you know life renewed okay you've made your mistakes you've judged yourself now let that acorn grow into that big tree accept it and let it go so them two are just, I just love them. And finally, we have the world. And to me, this sums up the world. You have good days, you have dark days. We have happiness, we have sadness. We try to keep it into, into balance. There's always new life, new feelings, new hope coming. And this is the Waking the World Spirits by Poppy Palin. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thank you, Toadstool Tarot, for this absolutely brilliant tag. I've really enjoyed doing it, and I'm loving watching everybody else's. Have a fantastic day, people. Loads and loads of love. See you soon. Bye.